Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Monday, December 13th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Hotel rates rose nearly 26% in the past year, one of the fastest rising sectors in the U.S. for inflation. Still, hotel executives aren't that worried, writes Skift editors. Rising room rates signal a demand rebound, which is a good thing. In the U.S., hotel rates were up nearly 3% in November compared to October, and the rates were up 25.5% from November 2020. These rate jumps are not great for consumers, but conversely are good news for hotel executives. If you look back at other challenges, whether it was post-9-11, whether it was post-Great Recession, in those instances, it took us upwards of four or five years to get back to pricing power, said Marriott CEO Anthony Capuano at a recent Morgan Stanley Consumer Conference. In many markets, we're already back to 2019 average daily rate levels. We now turn to a recap of Skift's Design the Future event. The conference on December 9th highlighted the innovation percolating now in the travel sector. Skift senior travel tech editor Sean O'Neill writes in his recap that one of the hot topics was how the travel sector could adapt to the metaverse. In case you haven't heard about the metaverse, it's broadly the idea that consumers will someday have online avatars that can move seamlessly between virtual worlds. Atari Hotels, a brand that's still in the design phase, is anticipating some of the coming changes. We'll have you create your own avatar to let people interact with you while you're in the space, using technology to merge the physical and the digital, said Tom Ito of design firm Gensler. And we end now by busting a couple of myths. The pandemic has spawned seven myths in travel that need to be dispelled, writes Seth Borko, a senior research analyst for Skift. One of the common myths is that business travel is dead. In fact, recent data from corporate travel startup TripAction suggests that business booking activity is rapidly returning. In short, the corporate road warriors are coming back, even though business travel may look and feel different, and some parts of that old world may be gone for good. Another common myth is that the big hotel brands had it better during the pandemic. But it turns out that in at least one important metric, independents outperformed brands. Room revenue at U.S. independent hotels is 91% recovered compared with 2019 levels, while brands are just 75% recovered. Smaller independent hotels can partly credit their resilience to skewing toward more of a leisure customer base, a market segment that has done better than most. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Spoken Layer Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.